All right, so um, I'm hopeful to do this in five minutes or less. Overwatch PC control customization. So here we go. Um, first thing I'm going to tell you about is a couple of things. I will not be covering video options at all. All modern, all hardware. Just it's you. You got to do you. I can't help you with your own hardware. Don't ask for help. First thing I gotta tell you is about the social tab. Um, this is one of the big things that may be overlooked. Um, some people may have it set to invite only, which I think is the default, at least it was when I started playing. So here you have the option to open the group to friends, you have the option to open to everyone. I'm personally keeping it on everyone, and um, I personally don't care about profanity. I'm an adult. Uh, words do not hurt me. So. That goes off. Um, group members can invite, of course, why not? I don't want to have to spend five minutes getting somebody else's Battle.net ID, adding them to my friends list, and then inviting them to the game. Send them an invite, let's make this short and sweet. Last thing is, I'm going to talk about, and this is the main focus, the controls. Because on the PC, we have a lot more than just a controller with a, maybe a dozen buttons. Uh, Maybe a little bit more, but you get the idea. We have the ability to bind things that a controller does not. So we have a lot of options here. Uh, I'm going to talk briefly about the reticle because this is an option that I think a lot of people are overlooking completely. There are several options here. I'll go through the types of reticle in a minute. Uh, but you get the idea there is a circle what a lot of people see on a lot of their characters if you play Tracer or Farah um, You've probably seen this circle. It is a circle with a dot in the middle um, Crosshairs have the typical first-person shooter uh, Crosshair with it and if you go with the short crosshairs, it's similar But the crosshairs themselves are about half the normal length and then you have the option for a dot Dot will just put a very small, minuscule, minimalist dot in the center of your screen um, and you still get a bloom effect provided you leave it on. And I encourage people to leave the bloom effect on. Um, if you play certain characters like um, Reaper, Reaper, Reaper might be best without the bloom effect on, but because, um, but that's something that I'll talk about in a minute. The next thing is color. Um, I personally try to go with something that I know I'll be able to pick out and you want to be able to see it against all the backgrounds on all of the maps. So pink is usually going to be my choice. Um, then we have movement controls. Uh, if you're a southpaw, you'll be customizing this to uh, meet your right handed uh, so that you can use it with your right hand. That's up to you again. But I personally am turning toggle crouch on. I don't want to just sit there holding down the crouch button. So um, as I said earlier, there's a lot more buttons that we have. In some cases, they're not being utilized. Quick melee is button four on a mouse. But if you have a gaming mouse or if you have a mouse with a whole host of keys on the side like I do, an L uh, Logitech G600, then you can customize things considerably. Um, first thing I'm going to do though is um, ability one. I am going to add my middle mouse button to this so that way I can hit it and um, don't really have to worry about it too much. But ability two, this is typically your E key. I'm going to add button five, which for me is uh, on the lower level. It's on the bottom row about midway. I can hit it with my thumb very easily. And then ability three, I'm actually going to unbind from Q because I have accidentally hit the ultimate ability while inside the spawn room. I am not proud of it, but I have done it. So I'm going to be adding this to button four and you'll see this has been, a, I have just unbound quick melee from button four. I don't really care about a quick melee being on my mouse. I am going to rebind that to F anyway. So primary and secondary fire, fine. Uh, then it says equip weapon one and equip weapon two. There's only two weapons at any given time on any given character. Everything else is an ability. So 
really you're probably better off of having this as one and two up and down on your scroll re scroll wheel um for those of you that have not played a whole lot of first person shooters this is generally the preferred method for the pros they have a primary on their scroll up and a secondary on their scroll down i'm sure that i will get many comments now from pros that say no we don't do that you're an idiot well, okay, this is how I do it. And then we have a few other options here for communication. Um, the main things are um, the healing and buffs that's on X and ultimate status is on C. I'm actually moving my communications menu. Again, I have this bound on my mouse. This is on my uh, ring finger on my right hand. I can hit this button real easily and I can pick out what I need quickly. Um, and then I'm going to put acknowledge on C and then I can go from there. So now I have everything that I need pretty quickly on um, all within easy reach. I don't have to spend a whole lot of time looking for it. And um, I may go further and I may customize these keys or some more keys um, to be on my um, mouse. Let's see here. All right, there's G. Um, let's put J here. Uh, thanks is K. Yep, that'll work. And then, oh, voice line. Uh, custom game lobby. Fine, I don't care about that. And then emote. I'm not going to put a key to that because it sends you into this long emote that you can't stop. I don't want to be stuck doing that by accident or on purpose in the middle of a match. Then we move on, move on, move on. Okay, so enter, yeah, reply. Okay, fine. Social media, that looks good. Spray, yeah, that's pretty standard. That's Team Fortress. Um, although I have now an extra key, I can move that to Q. Let's go ahead and move that to Q. That looks good. And then push to talk. I know it says numpad four. Again, on my mouse, I have the button. I have the resource. I'm going to utilize it. So there you go. Those are the quick customization options that I'm putting into on my global characters. I'm not really doing anything else. This, The rest of this is spectate. Um, there's not going to be a whole lot that you really have to worry about with spectate. Um, if you want to customize it, if you're going to be a pro streamer, good for you. I encourage you to do it. Um, the next thing is that I'm going to remind people there is an option to change individual hero keys. Um, May personally was giving was driving me batty. I didn't understand how people were so good at her, and now I have decided I am going to change the primary fire, which is the icicle shot, to the uh, the uh, right mouse button, and I'm going to change the um... oh sorry icicle shot is now left mouse, and the ice stream is right mouse. So this for me will work a lot better, at least in my opinion, I won't have so much to worry about. And I'm going to unbind her icicle form, that snow globe thing that she does from shift to middle mouse. Cause I don't want to hit it accidentally. Uh, when I try to accidentally do pull a Farah and go into the air by pushing left shift. I don't want that. I want to try and minimize and mitigate that uh, by anything I can do. The rest of the controls I'm very happy with. Farah does have a lot of abilities, but May, which is the character I'm customizing, here is what it looks like. I think this will work very, very well for me. And this is the this is the way I want to stick with it. This is this is good. So yeah, um, that's May, and here I want to go to Reaper as well. Um, a lot of people tend to forget that there is no secondary fire for some characters. For Reaper, there is not. I am going to remove secondary fire and I'm going to put ability 1 on right mouse. This means that if I right click, I now immediately go into Wraith form. So here's the practice range. So here's May, real quick. There's my left click. Get an icicle shot and my right click is the ice beam or whatever you want to call it so um now here's a here's a good spot so you can see the crosshair pretty well it's uh 
is a pink color. It doesn't blend in. It's very easily seen. Now if I go to options and I change it to, let's change it to the dot first. Here's the dot. So here's dot. Again, it doesn't blend in. It's still pretty easily to be, it's still pretty easy to see. Um, even against uh, targets, it's still pretty visible. Um, but if you change it to say, let's go with um, go with the original white color. You see how it's it's got that black outline, but it's still pretty easy to get lost in some cases, depending on what you're looking at. And the video has some extra gamma applied to it. You might be able to see it a little bit better than I can on my screen. But aside from that, I mean, it's not that it's bad. It's just that I like to have something a little more visible. So here we go. Controls again. Now I'm gonna stick with circle. Um, here's the cross. Here's short crosshairs. Here's where short crosshairs looks. You can see nice tight crosshairs. Not a whole lot going on there. Um, May is extremely accurate. So with bloom on, she still gets all of these. She still gets the very tight crosshairs. Uh, I can go with crosshairs, which you see are much bigger. Um, they might be something that a regular uh, any FPS player might be a little more used to. Um, and then you have circle, which is what May typically is, but by changing it, um, it will always be circle. It won't go anywhere. And this is, unless I'm mistaken, also customizable between all heroes. So, um, for instance, if you play Hanzo a lot, you can keep the crosshair as default. For Hanzo, so here we go into options. Here's my reticle. It's on circle right now, but if I switch to Hanzo, I still have the lines and the dot formation that are not actually helpful for PC players because there's not enough degradation in it. Look at all these lines that I'm not using. So, it's good and it's not really all that super helpful because you're not really going to use the lines for a whole lot. There's just, there's too much gap in them, at least in my opinion, as, uh, and I have archery training, so thank you. Uh, but personally, I don't think they're super helpful. Um, I, I'll keep it on, but in a lot of cases, I go with Dot for Hanzo, and um, I'm actually going to change my crosshair color to yellow. Here's Hanzo, and here's the Dot, and you can see, yep, that works. That looks good. Double. Here we are, here, look, I got a long target, Dot, headshot. But it really doesn't make too much difference what you pick, it's just what works for you. And um, as a, another YouTube video said, archery is about what works, and what doesn't work, you may or may not like it. Here's the dot. Double. And um, some people will like uh, Hanzo's regular crosshair because it gives you um, extra knowledge, it tells you things like... Um, it tells you what crosshair you depending on the crosshair shows you what type of uh, arrow you're firing if i'm firing a scatter arrow the uh, crosshair changes but it doesn't with this which is true I, I will give people that but if you can't remember that for one shot you are on scatter a uh, scatter arrow i can't help you you are nothing So that's that. Remember to customize your crosshair color. Remember to customize your crosshair type. And don't forget to customize all of these characters to how your personal playstyle works. So that is all. I hope everybody enjoys their play of Overwatch.